Hello everyone, and peace of Christ all of you. Please join us and uh, don't forget to download the video and share it with your friends. Uh, today our topic is about the human behavior and specifically about homosexuality. Now we need to uh, put in our attention, there's many things in this earth happen and nobody can figure it out except Allah. Yes. It was Allah who decided and he found that he created women, they have a sperm coming from their ribs and men have a sperm coming from his backbone. This is true. It's Allah who made Suleiman die standing on a stick for a year and nobody noticed. It's true. Until the termite ate his stick, which is very normal to happen. And today we will discuss together <clears throat> why there is somebody he is a homosexual. Now for sure you, me, we cannot explain. Allah is the only one can explain. And Allah, he passed his knowledge to the scholars of Islam and his prophets. You know, Allah, he sent 124,000 prophets. And then after that, the prophet, they taught their followers and then they called them sheikhs. And today we have a sheikh, his name is Yasir al-Habib. And he is going to explain to us how somebody turned to be homosexual. لاحظوا ما رواه العياشي عن إمامنا جعفر بن محمد الصادق صلوات. This is what the Imam Al Ayashi he reported from the Imam Jafar Al Sadiq. May Allah pray on him. But Allah عليه ما يقول ما من مولود يولد إلا وإبليس من الأبالسة بحضرته. Not a single. Person he was giving birth, but yet one of the iblis, which Shaitan, Satan, he is next to him in the present of his time of, uh, uh, you know, his mother giving birth to him. يكون واحد من الأبالسة يكون حاضر في وقت ولادة المولود. One of the one of the satans he will be exist in the time of giving birth for this new infant. This is a must. Okay, go ahead. فإن علم الله أنه من شيعتنا إن علم الله أن هذا المولود من شيعتنا حجبه من ذلك الشيطان. If Allah knew. Which is very funny. I mean, so Allah do not know. I thought Allah is the one who decides if he will be Shia or Sunni. So if Allah He knew that this baby or new baby, newborn baby, he is going to be a Shia, Allah will hide him from Shaitan. That's it. The Shaitan who is there, yes, he is in the room in the room, but because he is Shia, Allah will hide him. Okay. Allah Allah will put a veil on him so Shaitan cannot see him. فلا يتمكن الشيطان من أن يطعن فيه أو يؤذي. So Shaitan, when Allah he hide this baby because he's a Shia, that's why Allah protect him. Shaitan cannot punish him and he cannot do harm to him. وإن لم يكن من شيعتنا. And if he is not a Shia. أثبت الشيطان إصبعه السبابة في دبره. And then, if he is not a Shia, which means a Muslim Sunni like Abu Bakr, uh, Omar, all those Muslim Sunni, you see them in YouTube, Allah will make the Shaitan put his finger in their anus. And that will make him a gay. You know, I never thought about such an intelligent or supreme wisdom of God if you are a Shia Allah will protect your anus from shaitan if you are a Sunni Allah will make you a gay and how Allah will make you a gay he will not hide you from shaitan and he shan't you see you see this finger you see this finger shaitan he will put his finger in your anus and then you will become a homosexual إذا لم يكن من الشيعة الشيطان يجعل إصبعه في دبر هذا المولود حتى لما يشب لما يكبر يكون مأبونا أي يكون منكوحا. 
<laughs> the funny here, he said at the end, he will be mankuh. You see what, what the Muslim they say in the word nikah mean to marriage? He just said that this man, when he grow and become a man, shaitan, he put first his finger when he is a kid, when he's a baby in his anus. But when he grow, then this man will become mankuh, which mean, you see, the Muslim they lie, they say that the word nikah mean marriage. Here we go, he just said that this person will be mankuh, which means they will be effing him. But here I, I say to the Muslim Shia, what about somebody who was a Sunni and he became a Shia? <laughs> what if somebody was a Christian and became a Shia? What if somebody was an atheist and became Shia? So, if, if if since the birth Allah he decide he will be a homosexual or not if he is a Shia he will make the shaitan put his finger in his anus <laughs> and when this person he grow up and became a man he will become mankuh mankuh which means the only to him أثبت الشيطان إصبعه السبابة في دبره فكان مأبونا. Oh boy. إذا لم يكن. He fixed his finger in the anus of this person, his this infant, if he is not a Shia, and then he will become a homosexual. من الشيعة الشيطان يجعل إصبعه في دبر هذا المولود حتى لما يشب لما يكبر يكون مأبونا أي يكون. So when he grow up, he will become a homosexual. I don't know what comment I can say, but I think you have you have an idea what Islam is about. Islam is about intellect, intelligence, smart thinking, logic, and uh, ethic. You see, it is ethical that Allah will make you a homosexual just because you're not a Shia. <laughs> Allah is behind the homosexuality in this earth. This is what we are saying now. Because if you are a Shia, Allah will not make you homosexual. If you are, if you are, if you are not a Shia, Allah will make you homosexual. So what the problem then? The problem is Allah. If homosexuality is a problem in Islam, and I find that funny to say, because Muhammad he used to dress like a woman, he put eyeliner or he pee like a woman, men kiss him down his belly. Uh, uh, I mean, he do all kind of stuff, and obviously he was a homosexual, and he used to have a homosexual in his house all day long. Abu Bakr used to have one, Omar used to have one. Actually, if you read my book, Six and Allah, you will see that all the family of Muhammad, almost all the tribe of Quraysh, they were homosexual. And then you will see how suddenly homosexuality became uh, bad. Simply, why? Because Muhammad, he moved and he lived between the Jews and he learned from the Jews what he never learned before. So now he tried to be a Jew by copying what the Jew believe in. And this is why you see Muhammad, he copied tons of things from the Jews. And before that, he never, you know, he never have a problem with it. However, here we notice how fictions and stories and hatred all are mixed together. The Shia, obviously, they consider the Sunni their enemy. And the Sunni, they consider the Shia their biggest enemy. And sooner or later, the war will burst between Iran and all the Muslim Sunni. When we say Iran, we say, oh, the Shia who belong to Iran. And actually, already the, the war is happening in Syria, in Iraq, in Iran, in, sorry, in Yemen. <coughs> it's in many places, Shia and Sunni are killing each other. But there is a different kind of war. It is in YouTube. And because most of you do not know Arabic, then you will not hear those stories. Now, here you notice that this uh, Sheikh, he is like, I mean, he, this guy, I think he lives in England or Switzerland. I forgot where, you know because Europe became, become, became the nest of those people who they teach hatred uh, between people. Uh, so he lived in Europe and he, I mean, he, I don't know, he became more educated, he speak English. Um, 
I don't know how education works these days. So after all the education really you have, and all the school you've been to, you come really to the conclusion that this story is true, that somebody is homosexual because he's not a Shia. So like, what about people in Thailand, as an example? They don't know. I mean, they, they never heard of Islam. What if somebody is a Buddha born in, in Nepal? So he is a gay because he is not a Shia. Uh, and how you can explain that not everybody is a homosexual? I mean, little tiny minority in America are homosexual. So how come? But yet, yet they are not Shia. <laughs> Saying the same for the Sunni. If everyone who is not a Shia, Allah will make Shaitan put his finger in his anus. Is every Sunni is a homosexual? Absolutely false. You know, the majority of Sunni, they are not homosexual. So how in the world those people can believe in those stories? You tell me. My duty is just to share with you the stupidity of this cult. And for the sake of hatred, they spread lies against each other. To the point they are willing to accuse each other of, of things which is really funny and stupid. And it's disgusting too to lie about somebody else. So uh, now Yasser Habib, he claimed that he is not a homosexual, not because he is not, he don't want to be, but because when he was a baby, Allah, he hide him from shaitan. Otherwise he would be a homosexual too. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to share the video and don't uh, use bad comments. Uh, you know, <clears throat> it's a very sensitive topic. And uh, we were talking about a very sensitive anus. And shaitan, he targeted the anus. And by the way, Muslim Sunni, if you are laughing at the Shia, don't think you are better. Your prophet, he says something similar about the same story. But now we are talking about what the Shia believe. Thank you, everybody. May the Lord bless you. And until we see you again, Christ is Lord. Islam made by a dummy for the dummy. And you have to be a dummy to believe in the stories of Muhammad and the stories in his books. Thank you. Take care.